morning mm. and we order their signature chow kway teow. <laughs> this just this just the things you should put on later. Welcome to another episode of Can, can Eat or, or not? not? My name is Agnes. My name is Sarah. And my name is Kelvin. Today, right here, you can see we are in the heart of Sri Pataling, whereby we will be identifying several venues for you guys to actually come and try some delicacies. Ten years ago, it was a really different place as you guys know right. today. But then, as you can see, time progresses by innovation, globalization, you name it. So there's a lot and tons of restaurants out there in which we should definitely check out what is really nice. So enjoy your weekends here. Delay no more. Let's go try those foods. Jump! Alright guys and girls, as you can see right now, we are at Alisan Kopitiam, right? So this place is located at Street Pataling and it has been here for over 45 years and beyond. For those of you who don't know, Alisan uh, recently got taken over by a few young handsome men actually. You gay is it? Why you say young handsome? Uh... I, I think Cook look quite handsome. Uh. Look handsome, uh. all these dry people nowadays. Uh. <laughs> okay, so now right, I'm about to try the Tom Yum fish soup, right? Fish soup, right? Tom Yum fish paste. Fish paste, okay. Smell wise, smells very Tom Yummy. Smells great. The fish paste is just okay. Agree? Yeah. The fish paste, pretty tasteless, I would say. And as for the me, right? is also okay. Sometimes I like my meat soft and wobbly, you know. But this is not that. It's firm, it's hard. Uh, some people like their noodles from hard, like, I think. So yeah. that's why for the noodles, right, it's very subjective. But the smell and the soup of the tom yum tastes great. The, okay. Really, the soup saves the dish. Yeah. Because the soup are just right amount of sourness, which is what I like. For the ingredient, it's not bad. Lah, but for the fish paste, I can see, although it's homemade, but doesn't have the really strong fish taste. Yeah, so it doesn't really shine from there. And right now, we are trying out the milky broth fish head noodle. The owner deep fried the fish head. Smells very fragrant, I would say. Oh, the fish is good. Totally agree. The fish the is good. The fish is so crispy, especially the skin. So for me personally, right, so when I tried this, right, I had a tough time to talk at first because I had so much bones to remove from the fish. As for the soup, right, I'm not a big fan of the soup. For me, I feel the soup just came up from a can of tin and it just boiled it and it just put it down here. The soup is okay, leh. I think my it's opinion? Not, my, not my cup of tea, lah, the soup. For yeah. me, I don't agree with you. Ah. I like the soup, eh. What? What? Serious? The soup is nice, eh. very fragrant. Yeah. It's better than Tom Yum 100 times, eh. Yes, better than Tom Yum. Yeah. No way! Actually, the owner, they cook the broth at home for about 4 to 5 hours mm. with the pork wow. bone and also the ikan bilis. And then they somehow add the rice wine into it. Oh. So it like elevate the taste. So you're ready for thumbs time? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> so in 3, 2, 1, thumb. Okay. All right. One point five thumbs up. So it's a it's an average. And right now we are trying out the famous chow kway teow in Allison Kopitiam. Okay. Yes. Right. So let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do waste time. I love chow kway teow, bro. The chow kway teow is better than those chow kway teow you will eat in normal KL area. Mm, yeah. But it's not as good as the Penang chow kway teow. So it's like up there, but it's below there. You know. There's enough flavoring. There's enough um I would say spiciness as well. No prawn. It's pretty good. On my plate. No prawn. You ate it without you knowing, bro. That's why you're fat. So the hum is really fat and juicy. Because sometimes the normal chakwe del store, right? They are hum very small one. Uh, yes, true. This one like really plump. Very plump. They really uh. give yeah, they really give a lot of hum also. Like me. They are not <laughs> now so it's time to for the chakwe del in three, two, one. One and a half thumbs up. It's average. In conclusion, I would say Alisan Restaurant is a staple right here in Sri Pataling. Yes. It's a very cool spot like, because it's under the trees. So it's very chill one. So right now we are at Little Bing Restaurant and you can see on our table then it's we a have plethora of dishes. Wow. wow. All modern Chinese cuisines. Yes, with a very nice plating. And I heard sure. also there are many dato datin, you know. Yeah, we have, one, yeah. we have one right here. <laughs> Even the place looks amazing. When I enter, I can feel this type of beauty and the beast type of feeling. It feels like I'm the beast and she's the beauty, you know, some stuff like oh, that. Me? You are just the, the teapot. <laughs> we will start off with their main dish, the milky broth with a dragon tiger grouper. What is a dragon tiger? So it's uh, one of the more luxury sea fish. I swear to God, in, in this I don't know whether it's me or Chinese thing, just slap the word dragon and it's premium. <laughs> this dish was slow cooked for 10 hours with fish, pork, chicken, 
and there's a total of 15 ingredients inside the, the broth. The chef got the patience to cook this fish for 10 hours. Yes. So he actually sat and... No <laughs> la, bro. <laughs> Calvin just... Uh. <laughs> I would like to say, uh, the broth uh, is really the star of this dish. You can really taste the essence, you know, of everything boiled into one. It's like a single entity of all the ingredients. I dare say, uh, this is one of the best, if not uh, the best seafood broth I've ever tasted. Seriously, seriously. Incredible. I agree with him. I'm not much of a soup person, but the soup is great. And you know what makes the soup much more better? The fact that the prawn itself, it's really, very fresh. The moment you open the shell, you know this prawn is not kept in the freezer or fridge for one month. The fish is super, super fresh. The moment I bite into the fish, the firm bite, the toner also told me that the broth, they didn't use any MSG. Oh. Yeah, they never used any MSG in, in any dish. Uncle Roger don't approve this dish. This. Yeah, Uncle Roger don't approve this no, dish. Approve, but we approve this. Mm -hmm. this Yes. The host of Kenny or not approved this dish. Yes, it's super good. So next we are going to try these coffee pot ribs. Ooh. And they are using grinded Arabica fresh bean with other ingredients and they slow cook for three hours for this oh, pot. Three hours for the pot rib? Yeah. Sounds like the key ingredient for all of this food is to slow cook it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just want to say that coffee is my favorite thing, one of my favorite things and pork is another gift from God. So they, they managed to combine it, and it's my first time actually tasting a coffee and pork, and I would say the sauce is amazing. Yes. So the sauce on the pork ribs is a combination of sweet and a hint of bitterness at the end, right? Yeah. I can taste the bitterness from the coffee bean. It must be that. Super, yeah. I tell you. So this pumpkin tofu, they, use, they are using a homemade black bean tofu with their homemade pumpkin sauce. Ooh. And again, no MSG. And there's a deep fried enoki mushroom on top, right? I would say when I put it in... <laughs> it melts in your mouth. No! Uh, no! <laughs> Explosion of flavours. Hey, but the enoki mushroom is really good. It like giving you the extra crunchiness because tofu is soft. And then it adds like uh, the opposite side of uh, the texture in your mouth. They actually combine it with nyonya flavours. Mm. So it has a little bit of lemongrass taste in it. Mm. Wow. I just want to say, right, I never knew that a tahu could, a tahu dish could yes. be so simple yet so, so delicate. And so it's sophisticated. Very it's really good. Modern MZ is like delicious. Absolutely amazing. This tofu is really good. Hey, it's on par with the fish, I would say. It's really on well made. On par with the fish. So next up, we are trying the steamed clam with glass noodle. So in this dish, they are using steamed fresh live clams and they are paired it with fresh lime and other ingredients as well. Mm, the sauce. The garlic, oh, tons of garlic. And with the chili, once again, I would like to say explosion of flavours in my mouth. <laughs> explosion. So this dish um, tastes spicy and sour at the same time, and it's very kai wei, appetising. Appetising, yes. yes. Appetizing. You see this clam? I can't even see the clam. Yeah, oh, you can it's see still the with garlic. garlic. Yes. You must find the clam first. <laughs> When I go to a Chinese shop, I need the garlic and the chilli. So that's a plus selling point. So they mix that with the glass noodle and they mix it with the clam and they also add a little bit of sour. So you get a lot of flavour that comes in your mouth one by one. And I think that just heightens up the flavouring. The It's like music in your mouth, you know? Orchestra. You know what I'm saying? Orchestra is like... Oh, he, he, ho, he. So now it's time, time for mm. Little Bing Restaurant. In Sri right. Petaling. In Sri Petaling. Yeah. In 3, 2, 1. Simple, like, wow, three thumbs three up already. Thumbs up. And in conclusion, Little Bing Restaurants in Sri Pataling has three thumbs up. Yes. What is it? It means... It means confirm, confirm can eat. eat. Yay! Yay! Hi everyone, and right now, we are in our third and final place, Super Ramen Restaurant, also in the heart of Sri Pataling. They are a Japanese fusion with local flavours punya ramen restaurant. And I've heard that the owner used to travel around the globe just to master the Japanese cuisine. Yes, ah. And right now, he's here to properly present to us his gastronomical experience. So I'm having the curry pork katsu ramen. It's a fusion of a Japanese curry and nyonya curry. And also the consistency of the soup, you will see is represent the, Jap the Japanese curry. Yeah, really thick. Wow, super thick. Huh? Yes. As for me, look at this. Wow. I'm having the king of pork chop ramen. The pork chop is done in a sui cooking style to better lock in the taste. It is also marinated with Southern American and Cajun spices using bacon dashi to get that smoky broth taste for the broth. 
and the soup is cooked at least 13 hours. Wow, come in to try it. As for me, I'm having the Kumamoto Char Siu Ramen. It's a Japanese-style Char Siu with black garlic oil seasoned with Chinese herbs and spice when they braise the pork. You see this pork chop, huh? almost as big as my face already. Even though my face is quite big, huh? <laughs> it can almost cover my face, you know. It's and then I just took a bite. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Quite generous with the size. Yes. Huh? Mm. Okay, for my ramen, right? I just want to say the egg is made well. The yolk is not too soft, it's not like watery, and it's not hard as well. It's somewhere in the middle, which is how all Japanese eggs should be. The meat is made not too hard and not too soft as well. But as for the pork that came alongside of it, bro, it was so good. It was soft. It's like sleeping on a pillow, eating cotton candy, marshmallow. It was that soft. It just melts in your mouth. And I think it really captured the essence of Japanese. For me, I think this one is a bit quite normal though. Okay. Because my pork chop actually, for me, is quite dry. Uh. The whole pork is so firm, mm. so it makes a bit um, quite hard to eat. Unlike Chef Oliver, which used chili jam, no <laughs> idea what the hell is that, they use actual chili right wow. here, you know? This is, as you can see, is red. I think what's it's specially this made. Deadly, uh, this looks this deadly. deadly. What I would say about this chili is, it's not joking around. Uh. This one, I don't like, oh, 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 chili, little chili baby. No, this one is like chili. <laughs> By the way, we just get news from the chef. This is actually only level one. Right now, we are ordering level four. So, all of us are going to try, yeah? Come, Sami, the. the oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 You see all this black thing? These are all the ashes, you know? So we have to give them the credit to create four levels of spiciness. So we must eat this and see whether it's legit or not. Whether it can eat or not. Just now I already added the level one in. It's quite spicy already. Right now, hey bro! Hey bro! <laughs> hey, it's too much! Too much! Your saliva split it too yeah. much! Just now I've already added in the level one. It's quite spicy already. Right now, Sarah gave me a big dump of level four. Oh. No problem. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Don't cry. Okay, like. But the kids come in later, eh? What the hell? With this chili added into the broth, it really gets that elevated flavor. Okay. Oh, yeah. hey, try it, try it, try it, try it. Okay. Oh, chef recommender, you know. So little, bro. Go, 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 go. Kelvin, I can see you are sweating. I don't know why, eh? Maybe because my entire throat is numb already. So right now, I can't feel much more spiciness mm. from the chili. A bit numb, it got like coming in. <laughs> That's why I say the kids come in later. <laughs> so it's thumbs time. So are you guys ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. Wow. I think I have a baby bum though. Uh. Food baby bum. I don't know as big as yours. <laughs> Alright, so today we have so tried cool. three places at Sri Pataling. Yep. Start with my favourite, Little Bing Restaurant. Woo! The food is awesome. Every dish is extraordinarily good. For me, same, Little Bing. Come on, man. Little Bing, good job. I'm going to come back for you soon. If I am an individual from Sri Pataling and I know I will come here every week, and then I will take Super Ramen. Oh. Yes. So Super Ramen are lock in? As a whole package, then Super Ramen, yes. Okay. Alright, so that's all for today. Let us know in the comments box below that what would you like us to try in our next episode. And finally, for all of you who are watching, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and follow our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. We'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Can you or not? Confirm, can you?